<laughs> hey, this is Michelle with Spill the Tea Plus Two. Mine's not plus two again today. But this is my fourth video on making wine, and this is going to be the final one. This is when we're going to actually bottle our wine. Now, am I going to put up wine bottles? No, I'm not. I'm going to put them in these. And then we're going to put them up. No, I'm not going to can them, but it's an easier way for me to keep track of them and keep them put up. So, are you ready? We're going to open the container up after we finish um, put, putting the Durafine in it. You see what it looks like. This looks a lot clearer. And I got this little container. Wow, that looks beautiful. That is a beautiful, beautiful color and it smells fantastic. So all we're going to do is fill up our jars. Look how clear that is. There's no impurities in it. It's beautiful, beautiful. Scubadine or muscadine wine. Very pretty, huh? Now these are pint jars that I'm putting them in, if you're wondering. This wine has finished working, so I can put them in a jar and close the lid on it. But I'm hoping that I can get down here to the bottom so we can see what the impurities in the bottom of this are looking like. I'm very impressed at how this Durafine did and how it cleared up this wine. Um, it has made a huge difference. Curious to see how many jars, uh, pint jars, this gallon bucket is going to make as well. Now you're probably asking yourself, oh my gosh, she hasn't cleaned out those jars. I don't need to clean out those jars. They've never been opened, and there's enough alcohol in the alcohol, in the wine, that uh, anything is in it is not going to survive. And I can tell you the alcohol content of this is very, very high.
Can you see it's still very, very crystal clear? Beautiful. Um, Now this makes, I don't know if, if you're curious to know, um, this is not a real dry wine. It's kind of lightly dry um, and not overly sweet. It's just, it's kind of perfect if you ask me. I don't like, I do like a sweet wine and I don't like a dry wine. So it's not so dry that it's um, something I don't want to drink. So I did try some last night. more jars all right so I got me some more jars around the pint so I'm gonna use some quartz and uh, see how far this will take me in the quart jars Now I'm going to tell you, when you make wine this way, that pint jar is all you're going to want to drink at one time. Maybe, maybe even half of that. Because homemade wine is a whole lot stronger than the wine you buy in the store. Now you see I'm getting down to where it has a little bit of um, cloudiness to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this here and let it sit for a little while and let that stuff settle back down to the bottom. And then I will finish uh, jarring this wine. But I did want you to have the opportunity to see how simple it was. It's just jarring it up. And how clear that purifying actually got the wine. So... I hope that when you're making your own wine, that you're very successful. It's really easy to do and just have a lot of fun. So I'm going to tell you goodbye for today and have fun making your homemade wine. <laughs>